what's going on guys it's Sting Lovers back with another video as you can clearly tell from the title and the thumbnail I'm gonna be starting to take out the motor and it's Monday fun days number 26 <laughs> So, I'm going to start by taking the hood off, and then probably the rest of the video to the outro, you won't see my gorgeous face. So, as always, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, but if you're already subscribed, please be sure to hit the notification bell down below so you don't miss a future upload, and turn on push notifications. And if you go to enjoy the video, smash the like button, like there's no tomorrow, let's get the algorithm up. And let me know you guys enjoyed today's video. This will be part one of however many I do, however long it takes to take the motor out and put the new one in. And yes, you guys are going to go down in the comments saying, thought you were selling it. You know, it's my car. I can do whatever. Yes, I've had some offers. I didn't like the offers. And then I found a cheap motor. Well, it's not technically cheap, but... I found one local. The rest I've been looking at were too far away to drive to go get. But I found one local. It's going to have 108,000 some odd miles. All I got to do is take my valve covers off this one and the intake and put on the other one. And it'll be good to go. I was going to sell the motor, but they want the core. I think the only thing good on this motor would be uh, intake. Uh, Maybe the heads, but I didn't want the valve. Block might be kind of good. I don't really know. But they want the core, so I can't sell it. So I'm going to stop yapping, and I'm going to get the hood off and start doing the video. All right, first thing you want to do when taking all this apart, undo your positive and negative. They're already undone from the last time I was here. But I'm going to be taking the battery off and removing this. And then take this off, take this off. I'll be taking this off, fan cover, and the radiator behind there. So, obviously I'm gonna keep the blue things. Maybe I can switch them out when I get the motor. Uh, I haven't looked at it yet. I don't know if they want the, the whole intake or just this. But I told him I was going to put my in this on there anyway. Hopefully, I can take it off because I broke a bolt over there. Maybe I can get it out. But I just want to tell you guys what I'm going to be taking off. And then I'm going to get it all started. All right, when taking these off, there's going to be one here, one here, and one down in there. And you're going to need an 8 millimeter. And I don't have a long extension, so I gotta use both my extensions. But I'm gonna take this out. Just wanted to let y'all guys know that. And then I'm gonna start over there. Just like that, it's out. If you guys don't know, this is what it looks like when it's out. Uh, put the battery over here. Ugh. Future reference. You guys don't know. Never put your battery on the ground. Always put it on a block or something like this. That's what it'll look like. In case you guys wonder why I'm taking this out, I got to undo the headers when I pull the motor. So I figured I'd go ahead and get that out of the way. Now we're gonna start over here. I'm just gonna lay that right there. If you want to take it off, the little bolt right here, it looks like an eight or a ten, but I'm not gonna fool with it today. And with this, well, on mine, I've only got two. Pin here, pin here. It's supposed to be one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one there. But I've only got the two because over the years, I took it off and I redid the radiator last year off camera. And I lost my pins. Had to buy, oh, I didn't buy them. I took them off somewhere else. So, I'm going to get this off. Easy as one, two, three. I'm not going to show me taking it off. But it just pops up after you get the little pins out. What it's going to look like when it's off. If you even have one. 
Uh, some of them have them, some of them don't. But, <clears throat> next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the intake off. I'm probably going to remove this too. Start out by taking these two off. You can use a quarter flat head. Then you want to take this off. You just flip that switch up and it pulls right off. Set that back there. And with mine, with this, just pull that back and set it back there. Oh, and with this, I'm probably going to have to undo right here because this is a separate pipe and it goes into this. This comes off, but I'm going to keep it connected to this. I'm not going to show that either. It's common sense. I'm just telling you how mine is. It is a Spectra. It's upside down, but whatever. Get that done and we'll start on this. Well, that's how that looks after taking it out. I left this bracket on. Because you'd have to undo this and get in there. And I remember lining this up. And it was pretty damn hard. I'll leave it in there. It's not in the way. And I'll put the screws back in here. Why they decided this to be a long screw compared to this being a little screw, I do not know. And with this one, it's a different size. These are uh, tens. And this one is a... 12 on one side, 13 on the other. Just letting you guys know that. Now I'm going to work on this. I've got to get a pan to drain the coolant out of the radiator. Be lighter and won't make a mess. All right, guys. About an hour or so after searching, I found these. You guys are probably going to go down in the comments and say, Hey, Stang Lovers, those are gasolines. Washed them out, and this coolant's been set for a while, so I'm probably going to just, just flush it and put new coolant in it. Anyway, so I'm just going to drain it in here. I think I got a gallon and a half in there. I can't remember. This is a gallon, and this is two and a half gallons. I'm going to start with this one to see where it goes. If it starts to overflow, I'll move to this one. And that barely fits under there. I will try to get it under there, but that one fits under there. So I'm gonna get that drain. I'm not gonna video that. Basically, there's a drain plug right here, and then I had to cap this. So all you basically do is undo that. Focus a little bit. Undo this, and it'll start pouring out. And an easy way for it to drain, go ahead and take this off. You guys can't see up in there, but it is full to the brim. I'm going to do that. <clears throat> I'm going to start taking all this off. As you guys can clearly tell, I did make a mess. It's currently still dripping. So what I did, as I poured the first batch into here, that's currently the second batch. But, jobs like this, you do make messes. I think it's still dripping. The first little batch... I smelt it and felt it. It felt like water. What's coming out now is antifreeze. So I'm guessing when the car wasn't running, it wasn't able to mix together and all that. But I'm going to let it drain for a little bit. And I'm going to start pulling out this radiator. All right, as you can see, it's slowly dripping now. So I can go ahead and start taking this off because all the water antifreeze out of that is still draining from the radiator by the time i get this off it should stop dripping so i'm gonna get that out of the way all it is is a bolt here a bolt here and it's just yeah just them two bolts i'm gonna have to take this off too uh it's connected over here so i'm just gonna set this over there I believe those are eights i'm gonna check for you guys real quick this is a 10 10, 10, they are 10s, so I'm going to get those off, and then we're going to start taking the fan off, and then finally take the radiator off, and that will conclude part one of this video. Alright guys, I got the reservoir off, I went ahead and took that top off, 
uh, like I said, them two screws, and then this is gonna connect to the bottom. And there's gonna be a hose, comes around here, connects to right here. I'll show you a reservoir over here. Uh, I just took the whole hose off. I was having trouble getting that end off, so I just kept it all together. And this is where I'm putting everything. So, now, you don't want to disconnect this because this is the power steering pump. Uh, unless you just absolutely want to. Uh, it's going to disconnect here. I'm just going to, you know, put it out of the way. Uh, I could probably undo this right here. But this right here is full. So, I'm just going to park it right there. It's not going to be in today's video. But to get the fan and stuff off, I've got to disconnect these two hoses down there. Here's your better view of it right there. It's just the one right there. I don't know why I said two, but it's just one. I'm gonna get that hose off and then I'm gonna start taking this back. As you guys can tell, this is the bottom. And then there's another piece right here. But I'm not going to take that off until I have the motor out. Because it's up in there for some freaking reason. And it's going to be hard to get to. And my jack is currently in the trunk. And I don't have the battery, so I can't open it with a key. Why they decided to do that, I have no idea. Luckily, these were in the passenger seat. These are my trusty... Grippers, pliers, whatever you call them. They shape like this for tight places. I really bought it for that thing up in there because it was hard to get them in there. But this is a really good tool. Uh, it's about 15, 20 bucks at AutoZone. It'll save your money in the long run with just the basic pliers. So now I got all them off, I'm going to undo the uh fan i'm um, kind of losing daylight and you know i don't have any lights there's one up there but there's no electricity out here so i'm having to do what i gotta do had a late start like always but there is one here uh i think there's one down there one here and one down there. The bottom, I'm not gonna lie, they're really hard to get to. But before you do that, you wanna unplug this. And just, I'm gonna do it off camera, cause it's gonna take both my hands. And it's still leaking a little bit. But you just pull this and pull it that way. Uh, it goes to this, which I'm keeping that on there. And after I get those out, I'm gonna pull this. I'm not going to do it on camera because it is going to take both my hands. So when I get this out, I'll continue the video. Well, that's what she looks like without the fan. So now we're going to pull this bad boy. Start out by taking this and this off. Looks about like an eight. Yeah, eight. Uh, take those off, and I think there's some screws down there. There wasn't screws, it was just, uh, connected right there, and right there. But, I'm gonna get this out, and then I'll conclude the video. Well, guys, that's what she looks like after taking the radiator out. You wanna be careful with this, not to, you know, let it fall or anything. Just set it down gently. Uh, let's see where these screws were. There was one here. This one is a bitch. Just letting you guys know. And there was the one here, one here, and one here. I haven't used my flash. I lost daylight. I still got daylight, but it's not that bright in here. So that is going to conclude part one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop me a like, as you can tell. This is how much light I have left and why I had to use flashlight. So,
Like I said at the beginning, if you're new, subscribe. But if you're already subscribed, please hit the notification bell down below so you don't miss a feature upload. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.